Did you know that the Bible is alive and active? Maddie, what Bible verse did you just learn? 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. Can you read it? God has breathed life into all scripture, is useful for teaching us what is true, is useful for correcting our mistakes, is useful for making our lives whole again, is useful for training us to do what is right. So God literally breathed life into all the scripture, into all the words in the Bible, right? Yes. And God loves us so much that he created the Bible in word form so we can read it every day and we can look at it and God corrects our mistakes. He helps us to correct our mistakes. We learn because we read and we are able to correct those mistakes that we make, those second chances, right? Yeah. So life is like a big board game. A game that you would want to win. Take chess, for example. Chess is a strategy-based game. If you make one wrong move, it's, it's not just like the end of the world. You can, you can just take a redo over and over again. That's what it's like with God. He always gives you a second chance. So what I think is really cool about Strep stress not stress chess I don't, <laughs> I don't like stress <laughs> what I think is cool about chess is you know God if you think of chess being like we are the pawns yeah on the board yeah. and God is the one moving them he can see from the beginning to the end right so he can see if this pawn moves this way he can see every step that they take until the end. But we can't see that because if we're the pawns, we're right there on the board and there are m many different pieces in front of us, right? It's kind of blocking our view from, from winning the game. But God, his perspective, he can see all the pawns. He can see every way, every strategic way. If someone moves this way, this is going to happen, and then this is going to happen five steps forward. Yes, but you can't always expect a right move. Mm. And if you, are, if you are a pro at chess and know this, you will probably know that life has twists and turns that you can't control. Yeah. Like, say true. if you move away from a friend mm. or or if a loved one dies, mm -hmm. you can't change that. They go, they go to heaven either way. Mm. If they receive Jesus as their savior? Yes. Yes, yes. So back to the Bible verse. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's really awesome that God breathes life into all scripture and it's alive when we read it. So it might mean one thing one day for us but it might mean something else a different day for us when we're going through something different in our life. And it brings healing to us. Is there something you want to say? Yes. What? So there is actually this board game I once played. It was about the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I lost most of the time. But if you... But if you lose a board game, that doesn't mean the end of the world. But no. if you lose Christ, technically it does. Mm. Well, there is a Bible verse that says no, no force can separate you from God. You are the only one that can separate yourself from God. So if you choose to go against God, if you walk away from him, that's where it's dangerous. But when you choose to read the word and to pray and seek God be quick to repent and be quick to hear to open your ears and your hearts to hear God and Jesus is is one of the only ways to do that if not the only way to do that yeah because Jesus is like a bridge there Satan is the gap between us and God and when Jesus died he became that bridge awesome he conquered hell and he took those keys right 
So another Bible verse um, that really spoke to me, and this has been one of my favorite Bible verses since, oh, for a long, long time. And I actually learned this in class at church. Uh -huh. So Romans 12, verse 2. Don't be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you will prove what is good, what pleasing, and perfect will of God. I think it's really awesome that he tells us to trans be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And how our minds are renewed is by reading the word and praying. And Holy Spirit helps us. He's our counselor. And he helps us to know God's truth. Yeah, and... A lot of the time, you have to wash your mind with the Bible. It's not as easy to just zip your head open. <laughs> well, this is an awesome time that we just had together making this video, and I hope someone gets something good out of it. Thank you for listening. Bye!